Instagram though is very, very, very lenient, very forgiving, very satisfying, and very delicious. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Erica Lasan, and thanks for tuning in to Live Rich Mommy on Kerrika TV. This episode, we're talking about my newest journey with Weight Watchers, why I am taking this journey, as well as what the first week of doing Weight Watchers was like. So if you guys follow me on my blog, or if you follow any of my social media channels, at Live Rich Mommy, then you guys already know about my 2019 vision of surrender. And in surrendering, I am expecting a life of transformation. This year, one of my main goals that I shared in my 2019 visions blog post is that of losing all of my baby weight. Yes, looking good is a really big part of it, but I think the even bigger part of it is making sure that you feel good. I wanna be healthy enough to chase after my kids and I don't wanna have to be breathing hard or trying to catch my breath after doing that. So let's check out what week one was like. <laughs> Good morning from me and the kitties. Yeah. I'm just going to start sharing things that I've noticed as I go through the program. One of which is that I never really stuck to portion sizes uh, or serving sizes. You know, those numbers on the back of the box that tell you how much you should be eating. Well, mama didn't eat what she should have been eating. Mama ate what she wanted to be eating. Case in point being things like cereal and oatmeal. If you look at the point value is five points for one cup of oatmeal. And if you think about it, one cup of oatmeal would definitely be substantial, but because I likes to eat. I was eating double the serving size. Now that I know that the value of just one cup of cooked oats on its own is five points, I am definitely being more cognizant of what I'm putting in it and also how often I eat the oatmeal. I can't be eating oatmeal every day. I am now eating out of a smaller bowl because this is a two cup bowl. So there is only one cup of oatmeal in here, but the thing that makes it look like there's a little bit more is the fact that I put some apples in there and peanut butter. That along with my coffee with the creamer in it is three points. So all together for breakfast, I have a total of eight points, which I think it's pretty good for a satiating breakfast. Jace wants to eat, so I'm gonna take him off my back and feed him and myself. So one other really great thing about the Weight Watchers program is that it gives you fit points that also go along with the smart points. I have a goal on my vision board of exercising at least three to five days each week. And so I got myself a Fitbit um, to hold myself accountable and also to just make sure that I was recording and tracking my progress. You can set them to be linked to the Weight Watchers app. So they automatically calculate your points, your fit points throughout the weeks and throughout the days so you don't have to do it. In addition to that, um, outside of linking your own personal fitness tracker, Weight Watchers has exercises built into the app that you can do and that automatically calculate the fitness points for you. And on days like today, where it's really cold outside or it's later in the day, so it is cold outside, so I can't go on a run, um, things like the Fitbit will be really helpful because it has the Fitbit coach built into it so I can do in-house workouts. I know that... Um Usually, I'm always so concerned about getting the kids and stuff situated in terms of their meals that I tend to put myself flat. So in the meantime, what I do is I end up snacking on things that really aren't filling um, or what I have a taste for. Um, and I consume a lot more of that than I do actual food because when I eat, I eat well. So one thing that I'm definitely doing is uh, taking note of what I'm eating and making sure that I'm actually eating square meals rather than a meal, snack, 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 meal, snack, 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 snack meal, snack. And I definitely think that meal prep will help with making sure that I get these three meals and that I get them in time and within the correct portion sizes. So I'm trying this uh, Weight Watchers recipe for spaghetti squash pomodoro. Parmesan cheese and everything and the entire meal total is supposed to be like I don't know, maybe four points or something. P.S. This is also my first time doing spaghetti squash and I love it because regular pasta 
or spaghetti makes me feel really bloated and gross. So this is going to be a great alternative that's cost efficient because the whole thing was only $5 and good for my body. So it's good for your waist and it's good for your wallet. WW y'all. <laughs> Today I attended my first ever Weight Watchers meeting. Surprisingly, it was really helpful. I don't know why in my mind I didn't think that the meetings would be as insightful or helpful. I'm really happy that I went. I really just went so that I could get set up and do the weigh-in and also because I get five wellness points or whatever, or maybe it's 50. You get points for showing up to meetings um, to win stuff and I'm a live rich mommy. So I like free stuff. I jogged to the meeting. So I got my exercise in and then I jogged back, which was a overall four and a half mile run. So um, I get a little bit of a sweat in. I get some um, meditation and motivation in with speaking with the other women and also tips and tricks and how to make the most of this WW journey. So I'm really looking forward to it um, in the weeks to come. So now that you guys have seen what my first week of Weight Watchers was actually like, let's talk about it and get into the nitty gritty of things because one thing that I've learned is that this program is opening my eyes and making me aware of things that I didn't even know I needed to be aware of. I decided to join WW, one, because I felt like I was stuck. Yeah, I gained 60 pounds after my first pregnancy, but my weight dropped down to 155, so I was about 20 pounds away from my goal, and then I found out that I was pregnant with baby number two about a year later after having Aria. That being said, my weight went from 155 back up and this time I almost hit 200 pounds. I was two pounds short of 200 pounds when I gave birth to our son Jace. One of my 2018 goals had been to lose all of my baby weight. Um, I made a plan to start losing the weight. And I even wrote a blog post about it back in June about how I was gonna do it. September, October, I was tired of talking about it, so I started to be about it. But then in December, I finally got off my behind and I started a challenge in collaboration and partnership with Orange Theory Fitness. The bigger thing that I needed to concentrate on, I came to realize, was my food. Luckily, I have an amazing friend who uh, works for Weight Watchers and she ended up giving me a three month membership. So, why not? <laughs> When I first heard about WW and I realized that they didn't deliver personalized meals to your home, I was like, well, what's the point? Like seriously, I don't need someone to tell me how much I need to be eating. I need someone to prepare the food for me so I don't have to do it. Because I eat relatively well. I like my vegetables, I like my fruits. I just happen to like cookies and other baked goods just as much, which is my problem, but that's a story for another day. There is really, really a lot to love about this program and the fact that it is so flexible. The app is thebomb.com. When I tell you that they literally thought of everything at your fingertips, the Weight Watchers community, so you can share your progress with others, but also be inspired by others as well. I find myself going through the timeline and just getting really excited and motivated about the change that's on the horizon just because I'm seeing other people crushing their goals. They have the tracking of your meals and your points readily available and they just make it really easy like seriously they make it so easy that there's no way that you can't succeed the only way that you wouldn't be able to succeed in doing this program is if you cheat yourself so far i've only been on the program about a week and i've already lost two pounds i have started meal prepping and Within the first three days of doing this, life got so much easier. With the WW app, they have a lot of amazing recipes that vary in taste and complexity. You have your easy meals, you have your more difficult meals. They divide them up by points. Um, they even have an, a portion of the app that allows you to search for meals by restaurant. So when you're going out, you can stick to your points. Like. I mean, I could go on and on and on about this, but if you guys wanna know more about that, definitely reach out to me through direct message, send me an email, leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to them. 
don't have time to work out or we don't have a gym membership. Well, they thought of that as well because they have Active, I think that's how it's pronounced, um, linked to your Weight Watchers app as well. And with this part of the program, it allows for you to basically choose workouts that you can do in your own home. It's not a visual thing, it's all audible, um, auditory? Yeah, it's all audible? Yeah, audible? Yeah, oratory. I think that's the word. <laughs> If you guys are wondering about some tips and tricks, I have written a full blog post about that at www.liverichmommy.com. But aside from that, I wanted to mention them really briefly here. Get yourself a tracker, a fitness tracker of some sort. How are you supposed to know what your progress is looking like if you don't even know where you've started um, and where you're going and how you're getting there? Number two, I've learned this today at my second meeting. Do not step on the scale on a daily basis. I know it sounds like common sense, but I have been weighing myself like a crazy person. Like, is it working? Is it working? Is it working? And the answer is yes, it's probably working. So one tip that I got from a lady who works at the studio where I'm attending meetings was that I should really just reserve weighing myself for the meeting days. And I am going to take her up on that tip. Once I did see that it was starting to work, I realized, oh, well, I'm I've lost like six ounces, mm, I've lost a pound. And with that, I would be like, oh, well then I can treat myself to this goodie. Like I could have a cookie or I could have some chocolate chips. Um, and yes, you can because the program is flexible like that. But I mean, it's also, not super helpful to the long-term progress that you want to have if every time you make a step forward you're also taking a step backwards the third thing that i found that's been really helping me is sharing my goals and my journey with others um so essentially getting yourself some accountability partners all of you are my accountability partners because in putting this out there i know that i have people who will lovingly say hey girl how you doing on that journey or what are you doing or have you been keeping up with the things that you said that you're going to do and me personally i know that that's something that keeps me motivated number four is stick to the program don't cheat because when you cheat you cheat yourself there have been so many times in this past week where I've wanted to be like, oh, but I only had a quarter cup of this, or oh, well, I didn't eat a full sandwich. Make sure you account for the full value of whatever it is that you're eating. Make sure that you're tracking every meal and really just sticking to whatever the program is that's laid out for you. All of this is work. It's not like physical work, but it's mental work. And most of the time, the mental work is more difficult than the physical works. Number five, be kind to yourself. This is not an overnight journey. You will not see overnight success or progress, but just know that every little bit that you're doing makes a difference and know that, you know what, even if you fall off the wagon one day, um, you can always start over the next day. And not only that, you guys, there are weekly points that are allocated for the days when we are behaving a little naughtily as far as our food and activity is concerned. So the program is really flexible and allows for us to um, mess up a little bit because we're human, right? The sixth and final thing that I have learned is to keep checking in and to start today. I don't know how long you guys have been talking about transformation, whether it be your mind, your body, your spirit, whatever it is that you're trying to change, but like that transformation can start today. Um, and for all of you who are interested in trying WW, uh, I have included a code in the description box below, as well as on the blog, where if you use that code and sign up, you get one month free within the program. Um, but I think that it's a really great incentive to just try it, just start it, you know? You could try one month, see how it works out for you, and if you feel like you're seeing results, then you can continue the membership, and if not, you can cancel it. No harm, no foul, you know? <sighs> this video is finally coming to an end, 
But I wanna hear from you guys and if you guys have ever tried Weight Watchers, what your success was, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, or if you guys have just generally tried or started a weight loss journey, how it's going for you. Any tips or tricks you have to share that I may not have touched on. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Let me know that you like what I'm doing because I do it for you. We're doing it together. And until the next time, guys, live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye. If you like this video, hit the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I'll be able to wear everything in my closet once again with ease and with joy. Um, and in that, also saving money because then I won't have to go clothes shopping anymore. It'll be like a whole new wardrobe. <laughs>